Um, well, good morning, everybody. Today's meeting is our first meeting on Syria chemical weapons since the uh, decision by uh, 152 countries last week at the Organization for the Prohibition of the Use of Chemical Weapons at the Conference of State Parties. Uh, an overwhelming majority of those voted to reinforce the prohibition on chemical weapons and in particular to set up an attribution mechanism for chemical weapons in Syria. So we have an opportunity today to discuss with our colleagues how to move forward and in particular how to ensure that the Syrian regime dismantles its chemical weapons program. Thank you. Can I ask about um, the situation in southwest Syria? Because mm -hmm. while chemical weapons is very serious, that is getting worse and worse by the hour. 270,000 people, according to Ocha, displaced. Should the council now, I know you discussed it last week, but should you now meet again urgently? So the council did discuss it last week and continues to keep it under close review. It's something we've raised uh, with our colleagues both here in, in Ocha and of course it's something we raised very firmly with our Russian colleagues in the, in the council last week. And it, we, we ask all of those with influence to ensure that uh, the, uh, the authorities uh, in Syria respect international humanitarian law. And of course we do everything we can to look after those and to, to, uh, to ensure those who are uh, under this bombardment are, are, are protected. Thank you. You said that the UK is keeping it, keeps it under review, and now the BBC has come out with nine, nine minutes of authenticated video of villages being tortured, people being tortured, buried. And so I'm wondering, have you taken note of that? Is that it's getting, just given that it's the BBC, and is there some change in your analysis of whether it makes sense to have the council consider this issue? Well, you'll remember when we spoke about the UNOCA mandate, uh, I and others uh, took the floor in the open chamber to, to make uh, points about Cameroon. Uh, we, as I say, we continue to, to work with the authorities in Cameroon. We talk to our colleagues here around the table. Uh, and, you know, we are concerned to ensure that in the run-up to elections that there isn't violence and that all parties show restraint. So we'll carry on with those conversations and keep the situation under review. Thank you. Okay, thank you.